you can say generically that there are kind of three levels of innovation. There's incremental, that's just tweaking things so that we do the processes of the company a little bit better, answer the phone more rapidly, that sort of thing. Then you've got breakthrough innovation, which is where we are changing direction into some relatively new thing. And in product terms, that would mean not just an improvement to the product, but a new product line. And then you've got the radical, which would be a really big change um, in the, the product, which requires major changes in other parts of the company. So you can pick out those three, and they're, diff they're important at different times for different organisations. An example of, uh, of the radical innovation would be uh, Virgin, who started as a record company and then said, hey, let's move into transatlantic travel. And of course, that was a, a really radical change in the business. These radical changes can, of course, be transformational to the company, but they can also be an utter failure. They carry big risk, uh, like, for example, uh, uh, GEC in the UK, who decided to change from being a, a broadly based electrical conglomerate to being a zippy internet-based communications company. Result, disaster. If you look at incremental improvement, there are rules, techniques for how you do that. You can go on Six Sigma training courses and get a black belt and things. Up at the other end, the really radical side, there's nothing much, you're on your own. But the middle, which is where innovation mostly sits, uh, is a combination of the two. There are techniques, there are approaches, but it's not a rule book like incremental improvement is. I think it's very important to say that uh, innovation management, and even more obviously R&D management, is a professional discipline in its own right. That indeed is the whole reason why we have this website and everything that goes behind it, because we feel there's a great deal of established good practice in managing of R&D, which is not necessarily recognised and used by everyone who could. So there's a, a great deal of serious discipline available behind all of this.